Receive defeating my monster, hey? <laughs> this is Team Captain Team Tornadoes. I got first place at the prelims for the Adventure Shop. Five rounds. Uh, I played Vanilla Goku. Uh, for all of you who don't know what he does, he's a strong black leader. And he's a Saiyan. Uh, reveal a Dragon Ball, draw a card, gain 5k. Awakens at 6 if you have Vanilla. Uh, awakens, draw one on top, uh, top one. On this side, uh, same thing, but you draw two cards instead, and you discard one, so a little bit different. And then once per turn, you get a free uh, 10k combo with a uh, vanilla card, so it's pretty dope. We're going to do the deck now. I made some changes since the last video. Um, these cards are the same as before. 30... Actually, no, these, these are different. I think they weren't... You had the two Gohans before. Yeah, two Gohans before. Uh, I played... I play, these cards at four because I need more yellow on the deck. And the ratios were really bad. I would always not have a blue when I need one, a yellow when I need one. So I just fuck it, all yellow for these. That way I can count more effectively of how many I have left. Because I would see one or two, I'd be like, shit, how many do I have left in the deck? I get, you know what I mean? It would end up fucking me up with the ratios. And so for me, I have to use four yellows. You can do whatever you want to, but I think four are the same color would be better. That would keep track of them more effectively. I did switch up my super combos for the trunks, the sparking. Because this is a sparking based deck. Um, because we are running the Gogeta deck. And having to awaken myself, put myself under four, and then use my super combo to draw one was more annoying and more work than it was to just uh, be at sparking. So, bam, there's those. Um, we still play two Krillins. I don't know the ratios of people play these. I talked to him play show after I played him in uh, uh, round five. He told me he played two. As well, so I played two, I guess. I only chose two. I, there may have been an actual reason, but I think I just picked two just because. I really don't super know. Strong card, sums a 20k out. He's only at two because one, I don't need that much removal. Kind of do, but not really. I may end up cyborging an extra one, but I like him at two. He's solid. Third one could be helpful, but allows you to summon a 20k from the discard and kill something. I bumped this bad boy up. I have four aiders now. Um, I bumped him up to four, that way I had more short power to guarantee I had my combos out because I played a tournament last Tuesday and I got sacked pretty hard. Um, I, did, I did one of my first two rounds, but I just kept getting bad draws. Um, I wasn't drawing any Vegetas at all. As many Vegetas I played in the deck, I wasn't seeing any of them, which is annoying. And so I said, I kept drawing nothing but Gokus. So I just said, fuck it, I'm going to bump this up and bump my Vegeta count up. So I bumped this guy up to four and it's been helping out a lot. So play four of these bad uh, these dudes. If you don't play four of these, it's kind of stupid. He's basically he adds so much to your hand. And it's amazing. But very rarely I'll keep I'll have these guys out because my opponent doesn't kill them. But if my opponent doesn't kill them, I keep two out. Usually, I usually if I don't have any four stars in the deck, I will purposely use four stars just to use them and then pull my back to my hand, which I guess a lot of people do. But I'm just saying that's what I do. Then I have four four stars. Uh, I keep that four because it's four. Dragon Ball, I guess. <laughs> I might play more. I guess people play more than that, but it just feels like unnecessary. Because my win condition is different than theirs. Um, I feel like this version is a very strong... It's better, if not as strong, as the mono yellow version. Being able to go G to your opponent is just so so amazing. And it's not hard to get off the sparking, honestly. Um, cheap, slowly building up your discard, slowly building up your discard. Things like that. Um, two battering lasers. Battering is a really good card. You only need one of it. Um, I said we're next one, I, I think. But I'm not, I really only see it once, so I'm good to go. Third one, just in case I have my opponent is playing Janim or whatever. Two's pretty solid. That way I can go G to them, untap an energy, a yellow energy, and then swing on my opponent, and if he bat negates me, just battering the fuck out of it, and then GG. Uh, three objections. Um, strong card, really good. Allows you to ramp up what you need to. A couple times during the tournament, I actually double objectioned. Uh, one Genoa player, I double object. I jumped in on turn two, then turn three, swung out with my leader, Sensu Beamed, which allowed me to add all cost the G to him and just take him down. Because I swung, I pushed him down to, I swung at him, he's at four life. Um, just swung at him, he just took the damage. And I swung out all cost at his ass. Because that all cost came out of nowhere. I don't think he was expecting it. And I just comboed it like 100 
plus thousand per game. And he was he was Janemba tapped out and wasn't awakened, so. Um three power burst. Uh pretty good card. It allows you to get your black stuff back. Most of the time I side this card out. Like I've never been in a matchup where I wish I had this card in the deck. Uh, I keep it in there just in case because the power uh this allowed me to awaken game one against him. Um because he wouldn't attack me, keep attacking my creature, which is a little annoying. Which is smart. He's playing the deck. He's like going. He's probably trying to prevent me from awakening and sparking. Makes sense. I get it. But realistically, one thing I don't think he realizes is that I only awaken when I play Gotita. I'm gonna sit like this all day because I don't care if my opponent attacks me. The damage. Because Sun Goku is very difficult to push from six to zero in one turn. It's difficult. You can do it, but unless your opponent has like no hand, it's gonna be hard. And you're always gonna have a hand. You're, yeah, I use my hands to be pretty Goku. solid. Kid Goku. I'll play four Sensu Beans because it's a, a combo extender. I very rarely use it for defense, except for me and Tim end up drawing. So I literally dropped two Sensu Beans on him. He swung at me with like a 30,000. I dropped two Sensu Beans and a super combo on him. We ended up drawing out, which sucked. Um, it's hard to tell who to won, uh, mainly because going into. Because we ran out of time, he had his last turn to swing at me. I don't think he put me down to. Technically, he put, yes, he put me down to two life. But I don't think he would have been as aggressive with time. He would have played more. He would have killed my Gojio, which was on the board. Cut a 25k. Gojita on the board. I don't think I think we wouldn't have left that alive, obviously. And he probably would have you probably would have pushed a little damage in, but you don't think it would have been as aggressive, burning out his entire hand. Um and in my hand I had a Demigra and another Gogeta. So I don't think I would have needed to use those to defend myself. But who knows? You know what I mean? Um and my my next card was a super combo. I looked at the top card of my deck with a super combo. Um so who knows what would have happened going into more of the cards though. So it was a really good game with Tim. I wish we'd had more time to figure, play and see it out, but it is what it is. Going to the rest, I play three Vanilla Vegetas, which is more than I used to play. I need more Vanilla Vegetas so I can search them out. Makes it easier. I play three at all costs. I also want to point to the guy who told me not to play at all costs. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> because at all costs has won me so many games. So we said take it out. Love it. This is a three drop, draw three, blow something up. Drill strike. Really good. Plan for four energy, right? On tap one. That's three. Draw one. It's one card. Effect. Three cards. Kill something. Triple strike. Bam bam. <laughs> he's literally, he's a triple threat. Draw three. Three energy. Triple strike. GG. Um, I play five Gokus. I only play five Gokus because I see them go all the time. Like, I swear to God, there's most of my games, I have like two or three of the yellows in my hand. It's crazy how much I see Vegeta, Goku. Maybe just the way I shuffle the deck. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Yeah, there's more vanilla Gokus, so I can switch out for eight. True. But I'm also seeing the yellow ones away. I don't know if there's more yellow ones, but seeing three yellow ones versus like one Vegeta, which is weird. So I was like, keep it at five ratio seems perfect. Five and six. Plus, I never really summon the, uh, the Gokus, which is good. And I have a chance of summoning a Vegeta. So it's better to have more of those than this. Uh, then for my Gogeta package, two of these. This card's really only good for the mirror match. Terrible against the Janemba. Because, yeah, it's a 25k striker. But you're going to draw two every time off of the effect. Oh, excuse me. And there's nothing really to really bounce back. So, uh, I usually just had him out against Janemba. And the main reason why I play the deck is the 7-drop Gojuda. It's beautiful. Mother Sucker is amazing. Uh, triple Strike. Um, there's so much. We bumped it up to three. That way we see it more often. And uh, he's amazing. And we can play more than one sometimes. We never do though. Card is disgusting. That's so beautiful. Against game, a game two against Tim, I had three of these in my hand when he demigered me. I was so I knew he had demigered in his hand too. I ended up misplaying against him because I tried to play around the Dende. And I didn't realize something with his deck. Don't play around the Dende. To play the Dende, is, it is what it is. That was my main thing. Is that I was scared of a Dende so badly that I wasn't playing smart with it. And if I wouldn't have tried to play around the Dende, I think I would have been in a much better position. I gotta reset his hand. One more minute. Oh no, thank you. And then it is what it is. You can always just like stop and redo it or whatever. But um, I'm going to. I actually have all of these now. All of my best friends. Look at <laughs> that. Bam! Look at that. All of them. Beautiful. Yep. I had to do some trading, or whatever. I know some people are like didn't want to trade these, which I thought was kind of cute. But realistically, 
I don't see these going up in value. Think about it. I'm pretty sure they've been giving these away for championships and like regional stuff like that. So maybe they won't. Maybe I'm wrong. But I really do feel like people are going to be getting into these. We're going to the sideboard right now. So. Hey guys, this is the sideboard. I'm um, getting into it for the my first place. Crusher balls. Three of them. Uh, Crusher ball is a strong card against the mirror match. Going against Vanilla Koo, they're going to try to kill with the Migra. Crusher ball will allow you to instantly lock down that card. Um, I forgot this card in my game too, not going to lie. Pretty exhausted at the moment, at, at that time, so I forgot to sideboard a lot of my cards. But there's a reason for all of them. Uh, three Crusher Balls is solid, strong as frick. Two Awakening Pans. In case your opponent wasn't going to attack you that much. Or to apply a little more pressure. The only time I really decided need to say anything against the mirror match realistically because they don't attack me that much. Or against a control deck like Janimba. But even then I didn't side them in that much because turn four I win. But I sided him against him game two and he dropped Crusher, Crash's Crusher turn one. That really hurt. So pretty much it was dead. Swapped out for more Gojitas if you want to, but I'm going to keep it in as mine. Um, sideboard in one of these. It's a strong card. To get that two damage in, if you ever feel like you're winning its opponent, where you need as many attacks as you possibly can get, and you're like, crap, I need it, need a double striker. Bam, this card's strong, can be trampled if you want to. But I like the East Kai because um, the double strike. I've never ever been in an op a opportunity or a time where oh, I need 10,000 more power, and I have to combo with one of these. It's never happened to me, but it happens to people all the time, I guess. Put a two Crusher Crushers in because I realize that's a very powerful card um, to sideboard in the deck. Not sure why I didn't run any of them. Um, going into Tim Palacio, he had blown up all my stuff and getting so much value out of it. Really giving him a huge edge in the game, uh, game two and game three. Just being able to keep his Gokus alive and just blowing mine up just gain, gets him so much value. Uh, one more Adol Cost Vegeta against. Control decks, uh, it's another striker, especially against Mill, because they may mill away your bombs, and so he's another bomb to drop in. Three TNs, I only saw myself really siding in two of them. Um, three strong though, against blue as well. If you need a third one that's there, uh, just card just amazing, allow you to lock down your opponent from on tapping energy. Playing on turn two, turn three, and turn four, awesome, you know what I mean? But you know, realistically, you only need it on turn three and four. But it's still a very powerful card to use. Uh, one Demigra against control decks. Decks I want to wipe you away. Um, realistically, this deck's a strong against the. It's incredibly strong against control decks because it just blows them around the water. Aggro decks, you can if you don't like some of these cards, you can always throw two Nimbuses in. I took Nimbuses out. Didn't really need them for the two Crashes Crushers, but Nimbuses almost never sided in. I'm not really scared of aggro. Kid Goku has so much defense. So. Uh, one more power burst in case you need it. Um, never sided this in because it didn't really go against that much aggro decks. It's also really good against Hide of Mastery or Victory Strike. Because even though if they don't have Victory Strike, it's another negate. Or if they do have Victory Strike, you can take a life, putting yourself to possibly putting yourself down to six, and another card in your hand because you get one from the discard and you get one from your life. So basically, it's a plus one. Um, and then the final card is Battering Laser. Uh, if you see yourself needing more Batterings in the deck, there you go. Um, sideboard, I don't, the deck doesn't super need a sideboard. I think the deck is very strong as is, but it's up to the person who's piloting it. Um, I had a really strong match, really strong games. Um, loved all of them. I had a lot of fun. And have a good one, boys and girls. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.